All right, now let's solve these two examples we already solved for Nash bargaining rule uh, with Kalai Smordinsky rule. All right, so this is the first example. Remember, uh, these uh, two negotiators are trying to share the surplus y, uh, which is in between 0 and 1, right? So they're trying to split a, 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 a cake of size uh, normalized to 1. So if the surplus y is what player 2 gets, his utility is u of uh, I mean y, and player 1 gets the remaining surplus 1 minus y, and his utility is also 1 minus y. He's, both of the players are risk neutral. In the second example, player 2 is risk averse. So this is the uh, bargaining set. In the first example, this is the bargaining set in the second example. Again, we draw those bargaining sets in the previous uh, lectures, so I'm not going to repeat myself. So how do we use the kalai smordinsky rule? Very simple. Uh, by the way, in both problems, the disagreement point is 0, 0. So everything, all the feasible payoffs are also individually rational. Well, we find, therefore, the aspiration point for player one and player two. Player one's aspiration point is basically this, the one utility. It's the maximum player one can get. And same for player two. And here, this is also a one for player one. And this is a two for player two. So in these two games, the aspiration points are exactly the same. Okay, well, what about, remember, geometrically, uh, we would love to give both their aspiration points, but it's not feasible. So what do we do? We basically draw a line between the disagreement point and this aspiration uh, point, and then pull this point towards the set of feasible uh, 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 payoffs. So, I'm sorry. So this is going to be the kalai smordinsky outcome. Well, what is this outcome? Well, remember, this is uh, x2 equals 1 minus x1 line. What is this? Uh, well, this is... a uh, Basically, remember, this is one, this is one, so therefore, this has to be a 45 degree line. I mean, this is x1 equals x2 line, nothing but. So therefore, uh, that means if you want to find this point, it's basically the intersection of these two lines. So x2, which is 1 minus x1, but x2 is also equal to x1, all right? So therefore, uh, 2x1 equal 1, x1 equal 1 half. And hence, x2 is also equal to 1 half, because remember, x1 is equal to x2 in this line. So therefore, according to Kalai Smordensky, Ksd is going to be 1 half, 1 half. Uh, which is, by the way, exactly the same solution that the Nash bargaining uh, was proposing. 1 half, 1 half. So y is equal to 1 half. So each player, each negotiator is going to get 1 half utility. Uh, by dividing the cake equally. Y is equal to one half. It means dividing cake or surplus equally. Well, what about this problem? Again, remember these are the aspiration points. We love to give both players that point. It's not feasible. So we're going to pull it. Uh, well, once again, this is one, one. So this is a perfect square. And so this line uh, uh, joining not joining, connecting the, the origin 0, 0 and this 1, 1 point is nothing but x2 is equal to x1 line. Well, what about this curve? Remember this curve? Again, we solved, uh, we found what this curve is. It was x2 equals square root, of, square root of 1 minus x1. So therefore, if you want to find this point, which is the kalai smordinsky uh, point of this bargaining problem. Well, you have to set them equal. So x2 equals square root of 1 minus x1, which is this curve, and x2 equals x1, which is the straight line. So therefore, x1 is equal to, uh, right, use this equality, x1 equals square root of 1 minus x1, take the square root of both sides, x1 squared equals 1 minus x1. So that means uh, x1 squared plus x1 minus 1 equals 0. So I have to find the roots of this one. So it's basically x1 minus b 
plus minus squared of 4b minus, uh, I'm sorry, uh, b minus b minus 4 times ac. Remember, ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. If this is the case, uh, the roots are x1, x2 are uh, minus b plus minus squared of b minus 4ac divided by 2a. This is exactly what I'm using. So anyway, I already did this calculation. If you, if you do all this, I forgot where I solved it, somewhere here. Um, okay, so there you go. So x1 is equal to minus 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2, which is approximately 0 0.62, uh, which is also equal to x2, because remember, x1 has to be equal to x2. So that means k, the kalai smordinsky uh, um, uh, rule, is going to tell us that these guys are going to get this much payoff, approximately 0.62, which is more than, right, this is 0.5, more, in, uh, more than this one. And, and how do they get this? I mean, what should be the surplus to attain this payoff? Well, simple, right? If you want to get this surplus, basically, uh, you have to uh, yeah, um, if you want to get the surplus, uh, right, if, if this is what you want to get, so 1 minus y is equal to, this is the utility you're going to get, so it's uh, minus 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2, so therefore uh, y has to be equal to, uh, send this guy to the other side, so 1 plus... Um, 1 over 2 minus square root of 5 divided by 2. So this is like, I don't know, this is 3 over 3 minus square root of 5 divided by 2. So whatever this y is, uh, I don't know what it is. Okay, um, that's it. So this is the kalai Smordinsky uh, rules uh, uh, outcome. And if you remember, the Nash bargaining rule was providing us something different, like uh, 3 over 2. No, 2 over 3, right? Player 1 was getting 2 over 3, and player 2 was getting squared of 1 over 3, all right? So uh, uh, Kalai Smordinsky and Nash provides exactly the same solution in this problem, but they provide completely different solutions in this problem, which is perfectly fine because, uh, you know, they're different rules. Sometimes uh, they may coincide, their solutions may coincide, but obviously in some environments, in some, for some problems, they're going to suggest different solutions. But this is at least how we can solve or find the uh, Kalai-Smordinsky uh, solution for a bargaining problem.